Alright, this here is a uh, DFP-17 positioner bore on a size 2075 actuator. We're going to uh, calibrate, go through the calibration of this bore and set up. Um, a few things that you need. Uh, you need a 120 volt power supply hooked into one and two. You also need a, a loop calibrator or, or four to 20 milliamp input signal. We're using an Altec uh, loop calibrator here. Uh, it's hooked up to. Also gonna need a uh, 1 16th Allen uh, head wrench. Now that's gonna be used to tighten our cams up underneath the board here. We've got two cams. Before we start calibration, we wanna make sure that the, um, the lips on the uh, cam, you can see right here the lip, we wanna make sure those are not hitting our, our switch arms. Got a switch arm here for open, a switch arm here for close. Those switches do not need to be made. A few details about the board. Uh, we've got three uh, selector switches up on the top side of it. We have one here uh, that's select, a down button, and an up button. Uh, these buttons here are going to be used uh, during our calibration. So we're going to um, apply power to this unit. When you apply power to the unit, the display is going to light up. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit your select and your down button and hold them at the same time. C-A-L is going to come up on the screen. Then it's going to start flashing set L. Okay, this is the first step of the, the first step of the four-step calibration. So at the set L, you can see it's flashing between set L and a number here. This here is going to set our input signal lower limit. So if we hit our select and up button at the same time, you don't have to hold them down, you just hit them both together. It's going to stop flashing and it's going to show a number here. What we want to do is we want to come over to our input signal and we want to put four milliamps to the unit. You can see we have four milliamps here. Our display is showing 0.88 volts. At that point, we're going to press our select button and it's going to store that value. At this point, what we want to do is we want to hit our down button and it's going to change to set U. This is gonna set our upper input signal. We'll hit our select and up again here. Just hit them simultaneously, it'll stop flashing. Now we wanna come over to our uh, signal generator and we wanna give it 20 milliamps. So we've got 20 milliamp signal to it. Notice our voltage has changed to around 4.423 volts. At this point, we'll hit our select button. That stores that value. Then we want to hit our down button again. Then we're going to flash POC and a number. Um, this is our potentiometer uh, location in the clockwise position. So at this point, we want to hit our select button and up button at the same time again. It's going to make that live. Now, here we want to make sure our, our shaft uh, right here is in the full clockwise position uh, or the closed position. As you can see, um, our shaft here is sitting at about 75% uh, or uh, around 65 degrees. At this point, you can actually jog this unit uh, when it's live here by using your up and down buttons. So if we hit up, or, or I'm sorry, down button, it's gonna cause our unit to rotate clockwise. So we wanna rotate it around and based on this video, we're using our uh, indicator to get our position. We want to rotate it around until it gets um, to our closed position. So once we get our, our um, actuator rotated around until it's in the clockwise or closed position, and at this point, this number on the screen display should be between 0.3 and 0.4 volts. As you can see here, it's reading 2.803 or four. In order to change that value, we have to go in and the potentiometer, which is located in the back side of the unit here, you can see the main gear on the shaft. 
and then the small potentiometer gear in the back. What we want to do is we want to reach in and this main gear here, we want to turn it. And what that's going to do is turn the pot and it's going to change the value. So you just want to turn it until you get a value of 0.3 to 0.4 volts. We're at 350, so that's a, a really good position there. Once we get that set, uh, we've got our clockwise potentiometer set. So we want to hit our select button, and that's going to store that value. We'll hit our down button once again, and we're just going to flash POCC. And this is our potentiometer counterclockwise. What we want to do now is we want to hit the up button and rotate. Well, actually, we want to hit select and up to choose it. It's going to stop flashing. And then we want to hit our up button and rotate the, the actuator around to the full counterclockwise or the open position. All right, when we get into our full um, counterclockwise position, notice the voltage on here is reading uh, around four volts. Uh, this number here is not as significant as the uh, clockwise. The clockwise is to set the potentiometer uh, to the correct position. This here is just gonna set the uh, stroke limit when it's give 20 milliamps uh, to know what potentiometer position is in the 20 milliamps. So now that we're setting at our full counterclockwise position, uh, we want to hit the select button and store that value. And now we have that value stored. The uh, calibration on the unit is now done. Um, so it's four steps. Now what we can do is we'll hold the select button down for about three seconds. And it's going to put us in run mode. And here in run mode, it's going to start flashing POS and you see 100%. So we're at the 100% position. Now, if we go over to our meter, our input signal, and we give it four milliamps. Our actuator is going to start rotating. You can see our position changing. We're at 78, 69, 61, 52. It should rotate around till we get to around um, zero percent or the full clockwise position. You see here we're at. Uh, Point four, which is, and it stopped. Both lights on the board are off, the clockwise and counterclockwise. So now what we want to do is we want to go in that we've got our unit calibrated, um, is we want to go in and with our 1 16th Allen wrench, we want to go in and we want to adjust our cams here. So this is our, our uh, clockwise cam, the lower one. Want to come in? We want to rotate it around. You don't want it to, to trip the switch. You just want it barely off the switch. So these these switches on this once a positioner board's added is just a um, safety stop in case the signal's lost. Rotate that around. Right before the switch clicks, we'll tighten the screw down. Okay, so that's our clockwise um, safety top screw, our cam. Now what we want to do is we want to give go back to our input signal, give it 20 milliamps. We want to rotate it back around to the um, full counterclockwise position. We're at 99.7, our full open position. We'll come back underneath, and then our upper cam, 
We'll set it. Just off the just off the switch. You want to make sure these are all the way down where they'll hit the uh, hit the switch. tighten our screw up there. Now both of our cams are set. The last test we'll do on it is to make sure it's following the signal. Uh, on our uh, input signal, we'll give it 12 milliamps here. And our uh, positioner should stop at uh, 50% or halfway. So we'll rotate around. We're stopped at 50.4%, which is within our dead band range of the uh, positioner board. Now the last test we'll do, verify our cams are set right. We want to come over and we want to cut off the input signal. We'll cut the input signal off. You notice the actuator starts turning. It's going to its fail position. So this one here is set up for fail clockwise. It's going to run around till the cam hits the switch. So now the cams hit the switch and stop the power. Now what we'll do is we'll come back over and we'll apply power back to the unit. It should start back moving. We've got 12 milliamps on it. It's rotating around to 50%. Now, if your cam was not set right, if it over-rotated, when you cut the signal back to it, uh, the positioner is not going to move because uh, it's over-rotated and it's lost sync with the um, uh, potentiometer. So what you'll do at that point is you wanna uh, go back to your um, zero or clockwise position and rotate your cam around a little bit more so it hits the switch a little sooner. And that is um, the setup for the um, DFP-17 board. So it's calibrated and ready to go in service.